And I caught up with the country Liberals member-elect for Solomon earlier today. Natasha Griggs, firstly, congratulations on your new role. Thank you, Letitia. Thank you. Looking back on the campaign run up to the election, the CLP ran a fairly dirty campaign. A large chunk of the last week was spent reminding Territorians that the Labor candidate, Damien Hale, had a domestic violence order taken out against him. What was your part in that campaign? Well, um, let, let me say that our campaign was actually eight months' worth of uh, door knocking and, and um, you know, spending time in the electorate. So um, it wasn't, well, we, I don't think that it was a, that was a dirty campaign. There was um, some focus um, the, in the last week of the campaign on, on domestic violence. Um, now, very early on in the campaign, the issue of my houses was brought up and that's sort of when domestic violence was introduced because my very first, uh, or our first investment property was bought as a result of domestic violence where my sister who was a victim of domestic violence, uh, had two young children and uh, needed somewhere to stay. So my husband and I were able to um, provide a... In terms of the CLP's campaign using Damien Hale and his domestic violence order, though, uh, what, do you think you benefited from that? Oh, well, look, I mean, I wasn't focused on Damien's, um, you know, personal um, situation at all. Uh, what I had said in, as, um, was that... Uh, where Terry had raised the issue with uh, Leo Abbott, our candidate. I, I fully supported uh, Terry in, in that um, domestic violence shouldn't be uh, tolerated and that was based on a, a personal um, situation, you know, like I said, with my sister being a victim of domestic violence and I was very strongly supporting Terry in, in that um, in that case. Former CLP member Steve Brown has come forward and called for the CLP leader Terry Mills to resign over over the campaign. He says that it was Terry Mills' calls for Leo Abbott to be disendorsed that lost the CLP the seat of Lingiari and lost the coalition the election. Do you think that the coalition could have won the election had the CLP run a cleaner campaign? Look, there's lots of speculation about you know various aspects and seats and that sort of stuff. Um, I think that uh, Mr Brown's got one view and there are other people with other views, but um, I've been very uh, firm in my um, view that domestic violence should not be tolerated and I supported Terry's uh, call for Leo Abbott to be disendorsed. The country Liberals do appear to be in disarray. We've seen a leadership challenge today. We've seen leaked emails. Would Territorians be right in thinking that the party lacks discipline? Oh, look, um, yes, certainly there was a, a leadership um, spill today um, and I understand that Terry um, has been returned as the leader and and with a majority um, so Territorians shouldn't be worried I mean I'll be focused on delivering the things that I, I promised to that I said I would deliver um, and Terry will be focused on um, delivering things um, as part of uh, the local local um, uh, issues you're facing the prospect of being in opposition. From there, are you going to be able to implement the election promises that you've made? Well, Letitia, what I will do is, I've, regardless of, of what side of, um, of government, you know, whether I'll be in the opposition or in government, I will work hard to ensure that the promises or the commitments that I made, uh, even though I did make a proviso that the majority of my commitments were um, based on coalition government, but that doesn't mean to say that I won't work really hard to get those those commitments delivered for Territorians and I'll work with either side of government both at a federal level and a state level to make sure that um, the, the potential for the Territory is built upon and that my uh, commitments are delivered. You've made some big promises though, the sewage plant alone you're talking about a hundred million dollars. Well with what we um, what I did with that it was got commitment for the first uh, stage of of the project, but it was about having some vision and long term thinking, and uh, and that's what I wanted Territorians to think. It was never going to be a commitment that was going to be delivered in three years. It was about getting people to think longer term and uh, and beyond a three year election term. The cornerstone of your campaign was housing. In your victory speech, you thank Dave Tolner. You thank him for helping you to save the houses. You say you haven't just saved the houses, but the suburb, the school, businesses um, at, at that rough base. That's right. Was that premature? Oh, not at all, um, because even though there's been some conjecture and some commentary about whether or not I will um, be able to save those rough base houses, um, I will work tirelessly to make sure that 
that that can happen and uh, and it, I would give it all I've, I've got. Um, Tony Abbott, if he was to be our Prime Minister, then that commitment is absolutely rock solid and uh, it's going to be more difficult uh, under a Labor government. That, but that doesn't mean to say that I won't work hard and, uh, and try and deliver that, that commitment. Do you have a timeline of when you think that could happen? Well, um, once we know who the Prime Minister is, I, start, I plan to start working on those commitments. I've already um, been making phone calls to uh, the, sh the, the current shadow ministers and uh, talking to them and, and uh, you know, reminding them of, of the, the commitments and uh, letting them know that I will, will be working really hard to make sure that we deliver for Territorians. You're the member of an independent Conservative Party. If these issues are so dear to you, would you ever consider joining a government coalition to ensure they're pushed through? Letitia, what I would do is I've said that, I've always said that the Territory is, is my home and that I will fight for issues for the Territory. Um, if there are individual uh, issues that, that arise that I need to cross but the would floor. You ever think about I, I would absolutely a if, it, if it was going to be uh, for the benefit of the territory, um, foremost I will do what I can to, to better the territory. And I mean I, I wouldn't want to say that I would um, do it on every issue, but there may be some issues where I need to um, cross over and I certainly would do that for a particular issue if it was important for the territory for the territory uh, but on a permanent move would you think about becoming part of a gov government well, coalition look, no one can take my vote for granted um, and you know we, we're in early stages of um, of decision making I was elected under a coalition platform and so at this stage it's with the the coalition but if there are specific issues that um, I think the territory is getting a raw deal well then I would have to consider where my vote would go what issues would be big enough well there there are lots of issues you know such as muckety but you know like I said, we're, we're in very early stages and uh, I guess I just have to look at every particular issue as it comes to, uh, to, to the fore. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you.